hi guys by the end of this video you are going to create a chatbot on your website and it's going to sound like this so you have a button here just press the button say what you got to say and wait for the result what is the capital of india we stop the recording here and let's wait for the results the capital of india is new delhi so if you like this let's get started So the two services that primarily we are going to use is the first is the Deepgram. So Deepgram service, it converts text to speech and speech to text. It is the next level accuracy. It's more accurate than AWS, Microsoft Azure, Whisper, Google or Assembly AI. It's fast. How fast you ask? It's three times faster, five times faster than Whisper. As you can see, seven times faster than AWS and the speed is unreal. So we are going to use this service and let's get started. Furthermore, we are going to use the ultra fast Grok API for getting the Grok inferencing service. Okay, let's hit the gas. So the first thing that we are going to need is the Python. So we go to python.org and download the latest versions. So I have Python 3.11 downloaded and installed on my windows next we are going to use the visual studio code editor one of my favorite code editors so we just download this and install this next we select the folder where we are going to work so let's take this folder so in this folder on the address bar i'm going to say cmd and once i say cmd then i'm going to say code dot code space dot and enter this is going to open up the visual studio code editor right away so let's get started let's do some cleanups let's make the screencast mode on so that you can see uh, whenever i type something so the first and foremost thing is we are going to need some environment variables to work so as we have seen we are going to use two services two apis the first is the of deepgram api key and then we have the grog api key so let's get those api keys just minimize this so we head over to google and in the deepgram uh, you can just go and get an api key login first and then you are going to have this dashboard where you're going to get 200 dollars of credit for testing this out you can go to api keys here create a new API key and I'm going to say prompt for uh, duration let's say let's make this valid for one day only and create the key so we copy this key and we are sure that it is not going to be available after we close this after we press this got it so we copy this say got it and head back to the environment variables and paste it here next we need the grok API key as well so we go to console.grog.com keys and then I'm going to go to API keys, create a new API key, a display name, you can put in anything here, press submit and then copy the key, go back to the Visual Studio Code Editor and paste in this key. So once we have the keys, we are going to requirements.txt. So in the requirements.txt, we are going to need on uh, these libraries so deep gram sdk then we're going to need request we're going to need the python dash dot env to handle the environment variables we are going to use flask here and we are going to use the grok api service so the requirement is done we are going to open up a terminal here and we are going to create a new environment so i say conda info dash dash envs so these are the environments that i have now i already have this uh one of the environments that i've been using uh, but for the sake of this demonstration i'm going to create a new environment so i'm going to say create conda create dash n and i'm going to say let's say jarvis new 
and I'm going to use Python 3.11 and dash Y. So this is going to load up the environment. Next, while this is loading, I want to create three files here, three uh, Python files. So the first is uh, we are going to need, uh, let's say, a text to speech.py file. And I'm going to need a speech to text. Okay, speech to text.py file. And I am going to need a grok server. GROQ serve. Sorry. Just going to rename this and grok underscore serve dot by so we need uh, we are creating these three files so this file will be responsible for converting the text to speech we are of course going to use the deepgram apis speech to text we are again going to use the deepgram api but this time it's going to convert the speech to text next we are going to use the grok serve and this is going to serve us the grok inference so we have our environment ready here so i'm going to say conda activate jarvis new okay so we are inside the jarvis now as you can see we are inside the jarvis now next we're going to install all the requirements so pip install dash r requirements.txt this is going to install all the requirements while this is installing we can start typing the grok serve.py this is the code for the grok api so from uh, the list of environments here we are going to select the environment that we have just created so that is the jarvis new so the first line uh, from grok we import grok and then we set up this environment variables from dot env we import the load dot env and then we uh, say we load all the environment variables we start up a client using the grok class here and um, we are going to get the grok api key 2 here in the next step we are going to create a new function so name of the function is execute here and then we write the completion here the function is this the model is this the role is the user and the prompt is the prompt that you're going to put here and then we are going to return the responses that we get so as a test we can just execute tell me a joke so if i run this and on my terminal and say python grok underscore serve dot pi we should get the response here okay this was tell me a joke and therefore we got this joke why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself because it is too tired so this is working the grok server is working now this i can call this execute function on any python file and this will help me execute okay so i need another python file the main app.py file so here what i'm saying is that from if i say from grok underscore serve python file if i import the execute file ex execute function then i'm going to be able to use the grok serve okay so this part is done next uh, let us do the text to speech maybe so for the text to speech part what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and paste this code so again the same thing we load up the environment variables here and then from the deep ground library we imported these clients as well so we are putting the file name as speech.wave for now and then we're defining a function on as text to speech where you're going to put the text input now whenever we put the text input this is going to save it as a speech options so we start up the deep ground api client here using the dg api keys here that we have just inserted uh, in, inserted on the dot env next we are going to use this voice so aura luna so there are other voices that you can see if you head over to this location developers.deepgram.com slash doc slash tds models you can see these voices are available so i am using this aura luna voice you can hear how this sounds your name please okay 
Hello, is this Allison? Perfect. All right, I have you next Tuesday at. You can see there are different voices: Asteria, Luna, Stella, Athena. These are female voices. We have male voices as well. For example, Angels. This is Henry. I can. All right. So these are the voice options that you have. So I've used Aura Luna here, and in the third step. I'm going to return the file name which has the wave file and that will be available here once we run this. So let's say this is my speech. So I call this function if name is main. So this part of the code, you know, ensures that when we run this code locally, when I run this with Python text to speech.py, this is going to run. But whenever I'm calling this function uh, in the app in other functions then it's not going to run this part of the code so this is the use of name equal to main now we are ready to run this so let's clear this up now let's run the python uh, text to speech dot pi file and press enter so this is sparta we are running this is sparta so we see this speech here and if i play this we should have the same. This is Sparta. Okay. So we have this text to speech working. Next, uh, what we need, so we can just import this, you know, we can import this from uh, text to speech. We import the text to speech. Okay. This is done. And next is the speech to text. So for the speech to text, we would give this speech and what we want is the text back so uh, it's the same thing we load up the environment variables we uh, load up the classes from the deepgram library we set up the api key here and then we're going to use the api key here so we open up the audio input so audio input is the audio file uh, that we uh, will have and uh, we just uh, insert the audio file here so this is going to convert the audio file is going to be converted to the uh, text and we are going to uh, get the text back so this is speech to text so for this demonstration i'm going to put in a voice.oga file so you know the we, we get the oga file when we work with htmls so this is the oga file and i'm going to run the speech to text this time so i'm going to say python uh, speech to text.py so when i run this it's pretty fast and we can see the output hi how are you doing so this works now what i can do is i can go to my app.py and say from uh, speech to text uh, we're going to import the speech to text so from this python file we are going to import the function here now there are other things now uh, we need to do we need to create the main app so for creating the main app i can say from flask we import uh, the flask the request uh, send a file and we need a render template because we're going to render a default um, template of the html we also need the um, import a temp file because whatever speech that is um, getting prepared that will be for a temporary time only we would need to create an app using the flask library here this will start up your um, app next we are going to define a route so uh, i can say amp the rate uh, a route we can define a route uh, with just a slash here and this route is going to just return the template put in the index.html so we are going to need a template here we're going to create a folder known as templates and inside this folder we are going to need an index.html for the front end part and now i'm going to copy the entire thing here you can have a look at the code and get the things from here so we are using the html and we are using the inbuilt css inline css here uh, that will be useful next we are going to need another 
folder here so I'm gonna create a folder known as static and inside the static I'm gonna create another folder known as JS inside the JS I'm gonna create a file known as script.js so inside the script.js I'm gonna put some magic here it definitely would take some time uh, to prepare this so I put in the magic here and then what I'm going to do is go back to the app here and in the app I'm going to put in another route of processing the audio here so in this route we process the audio the method is a post method once we have the audio file it is going to convert the speech to text and that is saved in the text format this text is used to generate the answers from the execute function of the grok serve python file okay this speech to text this is the speech to text that we have already coded in the python file and then the generated speech is the text to speech of the generated answer here so please answer this question this is just a simple prompt please answer this question and then we are going to return this generated speech in the audio format okay so for running this we can just say if name equal to main app dot run so now what i'm going to do is uh, show you a demonstration of this so what i'm going to do is i can go ahead and clear this i can say python app dot pi so this is going to run this python file we say enter and this is going to run this on the localhost 800 port so i just go there and uh, let me put it on the right side let me put it on the left side so that you can see the outputs uh, whatever the outputs is being generated on the left and we just need to press this button say something and then stop the recording hi what is the capital of japan so it is able to detect the my speech that's an easy one the capital of japan is tokyo okay you see the capital of japan is tokyo so i can just twist this uh, prompt please answer to the following questions uh, text let's say uh, I can say behave like a good girlfriend okay so behave like a good girlfriend now let's say hey what is the capital of India O H M Y G O O D N A S S I'm S O H A P P Y T O H E L P Y O U W I T H T H A T tell me a joke Oh, fine. Here's a joke for you. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? Stretch is obvious because it was too tired. I know, I know. It's a bit of a bad joke. All right. So I'm going to paste uh, these codes on my Patreon page. So if you head over to Patreon, I'm going to paste in a link. You can join the Patreon and get this codes from this location, a zip file here and then you are going to get started it's easy for you to get started and take over from there so how did you like it so in summary what we did is we used deep Grum for text to speech and speech to text we used the grok fast inference services we used some magic in the form of codes we created different codes here we had the back end and the front end working together and we created a flask app and we got it running on your html page it is pretty awesome so if you are liking this please subscribe to my channel join the patreon and i will see you next time i request you to mention your requirements in the comment section and then i will create videos based on the comment section but anyways thank you and have a nice day please watch the other video